Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into my Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 115. Today, I have a little tutorial for you that I think that you'll all enjoy. Uh, it's a super easy block. Um, this is the block. It's a combination block. It's a combination between a um, half square triangle and uh, a triangle, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, there's Sarah. Hey, Sarah and Laura. Welcome in. Hi, Betty. So if you really want to know how to make this block in a super easy fashion with a super cool tool called the Tucker Trimmer, a lot of you might be familiar with it because my uh, talented designer friend, Deb Tucker, is the inventor of this awesome tool. I'm going to show you how to do it. I've been busy at it making lots of these blocks um, for a super secret project, so I can't show it to you today, but um, I have the links above me um, for all of you who uh, want to know where to get the Tucker Trimmer. It's up there. The fabric that I'm working with is my ancient etchings. It's up there, the link, and also I'm working with I don't know if you knew, but I also have an Aurifil collection for my ancient etchings, and there are those beautiful colors, so I'm working with Aurifil thread today, and the link is up there as well. Now, um, before I get started, if you could hit that share button, share it, I want to tell you one thing. So, I'm not going to give you any measurements today, because depending on what size block you want to make is going to depend on how you use the Tucker trimmer. I'm actually making a six and a half inch block. So one thing that Deb does is she gives you all your requirements right there in a chart and the instructions come along with the trimmer, but this actually you can even download right on our website so you can see before you're making the project. So before I start to sew anything, I did some step out so it would go a little bit quicker for you so you don't have to sit through a long tutorial. There are some steps that you have to achieve first before you do anything. The, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make half square triangles first. And it's a super easy way to make half square triangles. You're going to take what I'll, what I'll call a background fabric and a color fabric and you're going to cut them into, <coughs> excuse me, cut them into squares and you're going to put them right sides together. But the first step you'll do is you'll see that I've drawn a diagonal line down the center of, or on down the uh, diagonal of that background block. Use, use um, a pen or a pencil that you can see on that background fabric. The next thing you will do, and I'm going to take you through this step, I'll sew this step for you, is you're going to sew on either side of that line. I don't know if you can see because my thread is very um, light, but you're going to sew a quarter inch on either side of that line. Okay, And I'm going to show you what I did on my Designer Epic 2 because it's really cool. It has a laser um, tool, laser light tool. And it really helps you with guiding that if you're not real, real good at your quarter inch seam, I do have a quarter inch foot on here, but I'm still using the laser light feature. So let me bring you over to the machine. I'm going to bring you down. Uh, no, Teresa, the background fabric is not my design, but it is an Island Batik. It is an Island Batik fabric. So you can get it there. And actually I have some of it on my website. So here is that line. Now, if you can see, I know it might be hard for you to see, but there is this laser light here. I've set my laser light at a quarter inch away from the needle. And all I'm going to do to sew on either side of this is I'm going to bring my foot down and I'm just going to sew on either side. And now I'm just watching this laser light and I'm guiding it right along the line that I have drawn on this square. So I don't even really need to look at that needle or look at that quarter inch foot, which is super cool. Then once it gets to the end, I have my needle in down position. <coughs> Excuse me. 
um, I'm gonna go flip everything around and sew it down the other side. <clears throat> now, I did a lot of blocks at one time, so you're gonna chain piece these. <clears throat> so you'll chain piece them until you get all your blocks done, until you get that, you know, the it's sewn on both sides of that line. Now, once you've done that, I'm gonna swing you back around. Once you've done that, the next step is after you've gotten the line sewn, okay, you are gonna take that piece and you are going to cut it apart on the diagonal line. Okay, so now you have two tri separate triangles. Once you've done that, you're gonna take, and what I did, because I have a light background, I pressed everything to the dark side. I don't typically always press to the dark side. It depends on where you need to press. This particular one, I just pressed to the dark side because I didn't want it on the um, light side. So you're gonna open them up, and then you're gonna press it to the dark side and you're gonna press them all. So you've chained pieced this, you've pressed it. So you've got your first couple steps here. You're drawing that line on that um, background. You're sewing on either side a quarter inch away from that line. Then you're going ahead and you're cutting that apart and pressing. Once you have them pressed like so, this is what it'll look like, nice and pretty. See how nice and um, flat that lies? I give it a nice shot of Mary Ellen's Best Press. The seam is going towards the uh, dark background. And you will end up with two half square triangles. So a great way to make half square triangles. And you can also use the tucker trimmer to trim down half square triangles as well. But we're not going there. We're, we're making a whole different block. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, once you have that half square triangle done, you're gonna take those half square triangles because we're making a combination block. Remember, we're making, here's that half square triangle and here's that other piece. So we're making this block, okay? Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a square of whatever other color you want. Let's call it background number two and I use dark fabric and this is from my ancient etching line and you're going to layer it on top of the other one. Now, I want you to see this. See how it does not match, the edges don't match. That second background, if you will, is larger than the half square triangle, and that's important. Once you have them layered, do you notice how I have another diagonal marked, oops, this way, I'm backwards, no, wait. I'm so backwards on here on the camera. It's so it's so hard to see <laughs> to do this on the camera. Sorry. They're going to make that diagonal line going this way on the half square triangle, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing again. So, we're going to come back to the sewing machine. I'm going to bring you back here, okay? I'm going to angle you guys down again. Ready? Here we go. Down again. And you're gonna see the laser light there again. And I'm gonna sew again a quarter inch away from that center line. And my laser light is right on that line that I drew. And I'm just following that because I don't really need to look at that quarter inch, which is super cool. Now on this machine, the laser light, actually you can make it brighter or dimmer depending on what you can see and I think it's really cool. I've been using it for half square triangles and quarter square triangles and combination blocks the past couple days, and I absolutely adore this feature. And you can move it to any different point as well on your fabric. I just set it up for a quarter inch, which is great. So, once you have that done, now you have your line sewn on either side of the uh, drawn line again. I'm gonna swing you guys back up, okay? Here we go, and you're ready, there I am again. Okay, so now, you again, now you have that, um, the stitches on 
either side of that dark line quarter inch away. Here's another example if you can see it better. I don't know if you can see it better on the blue, but there's the other example. That's what it looks like on the back side. Cool, right? Now, once you've done that, now the next step is you have to then, you have this, and then you have to cut them apart, just like you did with your half square triangle. So you're gonna cut those apart again, and you're gonna end up with two combination blocks, essentially. And you're gonna see in a second what you're gonna do. Then what you're gonna do from there is now when you press this, you wanna press it towards this because there's no seams on this side. So you're gonna open it up and you're gonna press it towards that black background. And there's your combination block. But this is where the magic comes in. So here's the pressed block, okay? That's the pressed block. And you will end up with actually two, let's see if I have the other one here, the other half of this one. I think I do, here we go. You will end up with two opposites, okay? So you end up with um, one with an orange on the right side, one with an orange on the left side, okay? Which is okay because that's how it works out. Now, I'm gonna swing you down and I'm gonna show you how to use the Tucker Trimmer ruler here to get this nice trimmed down block okay so let me swing it down around here here we go all right and now here's your block okay now the tucker trimmer has lots of markings on it okay and what you're going to do is I, as I'm facing myself here, this is going to finish at a six and a half inch block. I take this dark center line, line it up on that seam line, and then there is a six and a half inch dotted line that I'm lining up on that seam line. I'm going to take my rotary cutter. I'm going to go ahead and trim the right side and the top. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it half a turn and there is a six and a half inch mark um, dotted line here and I'm going to line that up with the edges that I just trimmed taking that solid dark line again going down that seam line and the dotted line that says six and a half and you can see how there's much more here to trim that's okay because that's what you want so you're going to go ahead and trim that right side and the top and there you have your finished block super easy super simple and this does blocks um, I believe from one and a half inches up to six and a half inches so depending on what size you want is going to depend on what si um, how much fabric you're going to want to cut so I'm going to swing you back up now you can use these blocks for lots of stuff and in fact my friend Deb gives you in the instructions she does give you a bonus block to use it's a star and a square bonus pattern so that's right in there but I've used these for borders and stars um, and I've also used them for a super secret design which you'll see sometime later this year <laughs> so they're really fun really kind of addictive to make um, and they can add a lot of impact so make a few try them out, play with them, and see what you come up with. I think it's really fun. And again, all the links are above my head, so if you want any of the things that I've showed you, the fabric, the tool, um, and the thread, all up above me. And, and of course the machine, but that's uh, at your local Viking dealer. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. I hope you're all staying safe and happy and healthy. Love you all. Happy quilting. Bye-bye.